Hello everyone, today I'll be providing an overview of the Kindle mobile application. Um, I think amongst the iPad, your desktop version, um, the Kindle device itself, if you have a Kindle reader, and the mobile app, you uh, probably will tend to use the mobile application the most and I think it's pretty neat. Um, so let's dive right in. First thing I want to cover is the Kindle WhisperSync. And uh, you can see which books have WhisperSync by uh, a headphone sign in the top right corner of the book. So this first book on the top left uh, is WhisperSync, the second one isn't. I actually removed the download for the first one to show you how it works. So if I'm going to, if I click on that, it will start to download. And so it will download the Kindle book first. Once that download is complete, um, the, auto, the audible download will automatically start to happen um, second and if it doesn't you can click on it and you will uh, you will see but normally this happens absolutely automatically all right so I'll show you in a second so we're almost done here and if you click in it click on it uh, you'll see at the bottom download queued and it will start to download there you go right so once that's done all the audible features will um, start to become available so whilst that happens I'll use another book to give you an example of uh, the features because this book has more highlights than uh, than my other books right so here oops uh, here if we start with uh, this button at the top you have your table of contents Secondly, here you will see all your notes and your highlights. So you will see a highlight and then it will also also show uh, any notes that you have. It will give you um, what chapter or what book it's from. So here you can see all the book three highlights. Uh, you will see a quantity at the top right. You can see 17 highlights there. So it just gives you a nice little overview. If you come out of that, then you see here that it, you can actually change um, the font, you can change the layout. There's a feature with continuous scrolling where you don't have to flip by pages, but it just continuously scrolls. I'm not a fan. Um, so that's that. You can also change the background colors if you wanted. I prefer the dark theme, so I leave it at that. And here some more settings uh, let's just, just pick one the really useful ones so popular highlights i leave them on if you want them off um, i can understand some people don't want to see what they have highlighted and they just want to uh, do their own then that's absolutely fine so once you come out of that uh, let's take an example of an item that you might have highlighted right so if we click on the highlight uh, you can change and select different colors uh, that you want to give it you can copy it you can paste it somewhere right you can add notes which are also searchable so when you click on search and you search let's say life it won't just show you the highlights but also the notes that you have added right so that's pretty neat and a bonus tip that I've added in one of my YouTube shorts, which I uh, suggest that you, if you have time, you can check it out, is if you click this box with the upward arrow, it um, gives you these very nice poster kind of layouts that you can choose from. All these different styles, cursive, black on white, white on black, that sort of thing. And if you just want it plain and simple, then you can do that. So it gives you a reference at the bottom as well with the book and book name, the author's name, etc. And all you have to do is press share and you could um, send it to someone via message, email or whatever format works for you. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is if we go onto a browser and if we go to the Kindle store, here, uh, when you search for a book, let's just say Atomic Habits, right? Here you have all these different versions. So the Kindle edition is £1.99, Audible 
However, here there's an option, add audible narration. And this is what you need. Now, what you don't want to do is go to audible. Let's say if this or aud uh, audible for this book is also available. But if it's not the exact same book, it will not actually work. So you need to make sure that you should be on the um, main Amazon um, Kindle uh, page where you can buy books and you have to have the option of audible narration because that way it links those two together because sometimes some popular books have so many different uh, um, text versions and they might even have different audible versions but you have to buy them together okay and if you wanted to look for books that already have audible narration do you see this option here books with narration you click on that sometimes this doesn't work which is why i already got the second page is you just search in books with narration uh, you just you can just google that term and it will show you books that have uh, audible narration these ones most of them are coming up with um, un kindle unlimited uh, which means that you can just kind of rent the books but if we just click on this book here yeah, it has audible narration so you can filter books by books that only have audible narration so that's a brief overview of um, the kindle application and let me just go back now and show you the book with audible narration so here there you go that's all the audible settings once you click play. Prince Ludovico is planning to erect a worthy monument to his father, Florence's am Right, so it highlights each word as it's reading out, which is fantastic. And on Audible, all the settings that you would normally find, your table of contents, how uh, the narration speed, 1.5, 2, even it goes up to two, which is fantastic. I wish it was more but uh, two is still pretty fast. And here are all the highlights that you have, bookmarks, etc. And these are the sleep timers, options, and again, any bookmarks that you have added. So all in one place, all the benefits of Kindle, all the benefits of Audible, all in one place. So that's that, that's the overview from me. I hope you like it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment if there's any other videos that you'd like to see and please subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already thank you so much